Maritime shipping moves 90% of the world's goods, including things we eat, play with, our energy and our raw materials. It's the most efficient way for moving goods around the world. However, because of its scale, it emits over a billion tonnes of carbon per year. More CO2 than the whole of Germany. And yet, the technology exists for making new and existing ships more fuel efficient, saving over $70 billion per year and slashing carbon dioxide and other pollutants by over 30%. And equally important, fitting these technologies to ships would create jobs and business for shipyards and contractors around the world. These technologies include harnessing wind power, energy recovery, hull optimization, air lubrication and propeller enhancements. Imaginative stuff. So why aren't they being used in more vessels today? What's the problem? There are around 70,000 commercial ships of all different sizes crossing the oceans daily. When a retailer or importer wants to transport its goods, it has to charter a ship, which is much like renting a car. And just like renting a car, most of the time the charterer pays for the fuel. Shipping distances are vast and many ships are old and fuel inefficient. So fuel costs really add up and ultimately the fuel cost is passed on to the end consumer in the price of the product. The charterer would like to save fuel when they can, but it's very hard for the charterer to tell an efficient ship from an inefficient one, making it difficult for charterers to ask for more efficient ships from ship owners. Consequently, there is no motivation for ship owners to update their boats with fuel saving technologies. This means that entrepreneurs with technologies fail to get the orders to retrofit ships and cannot get investment from banks to grow. And all the while, money goes to waste. Consumer prices remain higher than they should be and emissions keep growing. What if it was easy to tell the difference between efficient and inefficient ships? At the Carbon War Room, the team wanted to see what would happen. Shippingefficiency.org is an online tool that puts a label on 70,000 of the world's commercial ships from A to G for efficiency, like on a fridge or a car. Now retailers and importers can choose to use more fuel efficient vessels for their shipping, leading to millions of saved dollars for them and the consumer. Over time this will create more demand for fuel efficient ships and less demand for more costly fuel inefficient ones. Enterprising firms making such devices would win more business, allowing them to attract investment and giving them the resources to build, recruit and grow. Overall, the world's shipping fleet would save $70 billion per year and reduce carbon emissions by 30%. Now we have the labels, we can make this happen. If you want to help us make this change, contact us at shippingefficiency.org forward slash get involved.